Well, here's where things start to get pretty interesting. Do you remember who Fergie was teaming with at the time in Mid-Atlantic, 1982? Arch Baker. That's right. Very good. Uh, you'll you'll team up with both Blackjack Jr. and Jay Youngblood on a few occasions to take on Fergie and Baker. And man, again, this is one of the things I love about researching this is you find out these tidbits and I'm like, I cannot believe that Jake worked with Ox Baker. That is incredible. Absolutely horrible. Baker was horrible? Oh my God. You couldn't knock him down. If you knocked him down, he was like a cockroach on his back. <laughs> he couldn't get up. <laughs> he could not get up. <laughs> he would lay there and, and oh, oh, the big old cockroach. <laughs> and Carl would come in and grab his hand and pull him over to the corner and then pull him up to his feet. Holy shit, man. And meanwhile, you're in the middle of the ring twiddling your thumbs. <laughs> right, because he just bumped for you, so in theory you should be on him or waiting for him and you can't do anything. Nothing. Oh my god, dude, that's amazing. Just a dead spot in the match. Um, this would have been the only time in your career that you were around Ox, right? Yeah. Okay. Now, uh, how much do you know about his history in wrestling? I don't know a whole lot. Really old school background and style. Uh, sounds like he wasn't necessarily a great worker, but he's got a reputation for being one of the nicest guys in wrestling uh, behind the scenes, despite his ruthless character. Would you agree with that? Yeah, I would. Um, did you ever hear the story about him nearly starting a riot in Cleveland with Ernie Ladd? No. Okay, so he had like the heart punch. And uh, what the promoters, what they were doing was he had worked with this guy uh, and gave him the heart punch. And a couple weeks later, the guy died of, it was just congestive heart failure. But the promoters said like, oh, Ox Baker killed him. Yep. Yeah. And then it happened again where he, he wrestled a guy and like two weeks later, the guy died. So they're like, he killed another guy and it was completely unrelated, of course. But so now he's starting to get all this heat and he's up in Cleveland with Ernie Ladd and he's getting heat on him by continually hitting Ladd and Ladd's not bumping for him. So he keeps giving him the heart punches. <laughs> and so apparently it starts a riot in Cleveland. And uh, guys were like coming into the ring, like with chairs and knives. And uh, like I guess he barely made it out with his fucking life. Yeah, so it's like a good match. Seriously, it's like that kind of heat is, I mean, you know, you're doing your job, I guess. Yeah, I know he did it in Atlanta, too, where he gave a guy a heart punch and the guy died later. Yeah, it's, man, it, I know that he, apparently he would never like to talk about it and he did, like, carry guilt. But in re, in reality, it was like, I guess he didn't actually ever kill anybody. No, he never killed anybody. Um, can you talk to our listeners a little bit about finding the sweet spot when it comes to getting heat? Cause like, obviously you want to enrage the crowd, but starting a fucking riot with crazy fans trying to kill you is maybe a little too far. Yeah. There's a fine line there, you know, and, uh, you gotta know when to back off. Very few guys know when to back off, especially today because the fans are so spring smart or whatever. Mm-hmm. Guarantee you it can still be done. You think? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I could cause a riot easy. Do you really think so? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Okay, okay coming soon to AEW TV. We're going to get a live riot, folks. You heard it here. The people want it. The people get it. <laughs> I know that uh, when you were in Florida and the Bahamas, you were involved in some pretty hairy situations. Yeah. Was there ever another riot that you were involved yeah. in? Yeah. When else? In the Bahamas. Okay. I was wrestling uh, brown sugar. Mm hmm. And uh, we started a riot there. Fucking nearly got me killed. I think I've heard it. Was this when you had to wrap yourself in like a carpet to escape? Yeah. Right. I rolled up in a, a big mattress and, hear, and I could hear the bricks hitting it. Boom, 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 boom. Because <laughs> they were, they had already come in the dressing room and they were just standing over me, throwing this shit on me, you know? Holy shit. Fuck yeah, it was scary as fuck, man. I, wound that... up, I think I wound up getting 17 stitches. Even with the mattress? Yeah. Yeah good like heads up thinking though jake like a lot of guys would see a mattress on the ground and probably run right past it you're like now there's an opportunity and you wrap yourself up in it wrap myself up in it man 
good awareness by by the snake folks yeah 